Hello, I'm Joe Mandilla, uh, Chief of Party of Gen X CDP Peru. Today I'm going to present a work and evaluation that we that Gen X CDP Peru has done, call it measuring and reducing methane emissions in dairy farmers of Peru. Um, where and with whom we work, uh, we select 21 organizations, seven, 17 of these were associations and four co-ops. Um, we select 97 dairy farmers from three regions of Peru. And we classify their fields in seven different ecosystems according to the classification of the Peruvian Environmental Ministry. Uh, to do these evaluations, we create seven stage process, soil analysis, pasture analysis, milk yield, milk composition, dairy characterization, methane emissions, and carbon capture. Um, we collect 195 soil analyses from 97 different fields, and we evaluate 2,041 lactation cows. With these cows, we collect 3,176 milk samples. After collecting the information, we proceed to build a set of equations that allow us to calculate metabolic expenditure and predict milk production based on energy and protein consumed. With this information, we calculate the methane emissions in terms of CO2 equivalent. And finally, we quantify the emissions per liter of milk. Uh, we create a lot of analysis and we conclude that the carbon emissions were 1,489 tons per year, while carbon capture was only 1,068 tons per year. Observing that um, the evaluate systems are mostly unbalanced. A very important conclusion was that as milk production increase, emissions decrease. In the regression equation, we can see a slope of 0 0.506, which means that per each liter of milk that we increase and the milk yield, we'll de we decrease half a kilogram of CO2. We noticed that the use of high yield cultivated pastures and the introduction of civil pasture systems will sustainable help increasing the carbon sequestration. We recommend that continue to implementing this good practice with the aim of achieving carbon neutrality. Uh, we consider that soil analysis, forage analysis, and genetics will be the key players to achieve carbon neutrality and be more profitable. Farmers need to understand that they need to select and breed more productive gouge which generate, with, uh, generate less emissions using the same or even fewer agricultural fields. We consider that global institutions could create carbon credit markets to make this a sustainable initiative. Um, for example, with a $20 per ton of carbon credit, a farmer uh, with civil pastoral system who reports an extra 100 tons of carbon sequestration could receive $2,000 per year as an extra income, which can make this a sustainable initiative. We, can, uh, we also recommend to continue implementing CDPs in emerging countries, promoting in the breeds and genetic traits that could improve productivity and sustainability. Thank you very much. You have here my email in order to answer your questions.